Hey everyone, today we're making some mint chip ice cream with cottage cheese as its base. All right, you probably have seen this on the internet and maybe you haven't. But anyway, this has more protein because of the cottage cheese and I'm using a little bit of half and half to kind of give it a little more creaminess. Now, the other thing I'm doing, which I try to avoid, is I'm using some white sugar. Not too much, but I am using it. I tried it with honey and I tried it with um, maple syrup and it just didn't turn out as good in flavor. So, since mint chip is my favorite flavor, it's gotta be good. This is very quick to make. You just pop everything pretty much in the blender. I got one little thing I'm gonna show you, but it's very fast to make and you'll enjoy it. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. What flavor of ice cream is always on the go? Mango. So the first thing we're gonna do here is gather up some mint leaves. Now I bought a plant here, it was you know inexpensive, and so you wanna grab a good handful of leaves. I'm not sure how much here. I tried to weigh this out and it didn't weigh a thing, but just a good handful. You wanna place your leaves into a strainer and then that makes it easy for you to place them into a pot of boiling water. And we're gonna leave them in that water for just 30 seconds. So use a spoon to submerge them under the water and it's done in no time. Now the reason for the 30 second blanch is to retain the green color. That's gonna help color our ice cream without using artificial colors. So the 30 seconds is up and you're gonna place this into a bowl of ice like I have here. And that will cool it down right away and stop the cooking process. And then we'll place the leaves into some half and half. Now remember you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. If you like healthy and delicious recipes, subscribe to my channel as we put out new content every week. Now I'm going to add the white sugar and give it a good stir so that it dissolves. Now we're going to start placing my ingredients into a blender, starting with the cottage cheese. Now I'm using Good Culture, which is a really good brand. Check out those clean ingredients. Next I'm going to add a frozen banana, but if it's not frozen, that's okay too. Next we're adding some vanilla extract. Now we want to use some peppermint extract. Try not to use mint. The peppermint is better in flavor. Now I'm gonna add that mint infused half and half. Okay, let's blend it up until it's creamy and smooth. I recommend at this point to taste the mixture to see if it's sweet enough for you. I like to start at half a cup and then work my way up to three quarters of a cup of sugar, if needed. Now to add our chocolate chip part to this recipe, I'm using Guitard milk chocolate chips. Those are my favorite, but feel free to use what your favorite is. It's a pretty good idea to chop these chips up since they're so large that you know you want to get some nice shavings. That way you don't have big solid chunks of frozen chocolate. Now pour your mint ice cream into a dish. I used a loaf pan here. Look at how nice and creamy that is. Doesn't it look delicious? Then I'm going to scoop those chocolate chips up and sprinkle it on top of the ice cream and then we'll stir that in. Now I'm gonna cover this with some saran wrap and I'm gonna place it in the freezer until it's uh, firmed up. So if it gets rock solid, which it will, especially over time, you're gonna wanna take it out 15 to 20 minutes before you wanna serve it so that it can soften up and you can scoop it out. What happens when I watch a scary movie with my favorite frozen dessert? I scream. Speaking of ice cream, here's our ice cream after being in the freezer for about three hours. It's still soft enough to scoop as you can see here. This is how I like it. This ice cream has a wonderfully minty flavor which you're going to love with the chocolate chips and I tell you it's nice and creamy and it's got a fair amount of protein. Now, if you'd like to try another flavor of ice cream, how about my creamy lemon ice cream? Click the link on the screen, it'll take you right to the recipe. Thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed today's video, let me know by smashing the old like button and leave me a comment. Maybe you have a recipe request. Let me know down there in the comment section. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe. Cheers.